Everyone, welcome to the show. I have a really infuriating story to share. You guys know I've covered a lot of cases of Republican voters who were busted for submitting multiple ballots in the 2020 election. All of them did it purposely. They did it to help Donald Trump win. So what these people did was truly meant as deception. They meant it with nefarious intent. They were trying to game the system. And yet, as you guys know, they've all received slaps on the wrist. They usually get these short probationary periods, nothing, no jail time, no fines, nothing substantial. Well, now we have a Democrat who simply dropped off ballots for a few of her acquaintances and she was sentenced to jail. So here's the deal. Here are the details. 66-year-old Guillermina Fuentes is an Arizona resident who pleaded guilty to collecting and delivering four ballots. That's it. Four ballots from her friends. And she dropped them off at a polling station during the 2020 primary election, not even the general. Fuentes didn't complete the ballots. She didn't forge the ballot. She didn't alter the ballots in any way. She didn't take them without her friend's knowledge. They handed them over to her and she simply helped them out by making sure that they were returned to a polling station. For that, Yuma County Superior Court Judge Roger Nelson, clearly a right-wing hack, sentenced Fuentes to 30 days in jail and two years of probation. And this is a felony. This is all because the state of Arizona implemented in 2016 a ballot harvesting law, which prohibits and makes it illegal for anyone to possess another person's ballot unless the ballot belongs to a family member, a housemate, or a caregiver. So in other words, to hell with the poor, to hell with the disabled, we don't give a damn about the elderly. Arizona does not give a damn about any of those people. So if they don't have a family member or a caregiver, someone who lives with them that can drop their ballot off, they're out of luck. They're left out of the democratic process. They have no way of making their voices heard or their choices count. And evidently, Fuentes is from a city called San Luis. And according to a local news outlet, this city doesn't even deliver mail directly to residents. And many of the people who live in this city are low income. They have no cars. So they, they literally have no way of getting their ballots in the first place, let alone returning them. But both the right wing media and local prosecutors seized on this case. They tried to make Fuentes out to be some sort of conspiracy mastermind. She was one of the 2000 mules, I guess. And eventually the evidence didn't really pan out. The evidence showed that, no, she actually just helped out a few friends and these ballots were perfectly legal. They weren't forged. She didn't steal anything. So the prosecutor was forced to drop the charges that they had against her initially, some of them at least, which was conspiracy and forgery. However, even with the knowledge that these ballots were totally legitimate, that Fuentes accepted a plea deal, by the way, she said, OK, I'll, I'll plead guilty to this crime, which is bullshit, but I'll plead guilty to it. The prosecutor asked for one year in prison, one year for doing nothing but helping out friends. So this woman who literally just assisted people she knows who couldn't get the ballots to the ballot box on their own was forced to take a plea deal to a felony charge. She gets 30 days behind bars. And she's going to lose her seat on the local school board. But these insurrectionists that I've covered, these domestic terrorists that I cover all the time, who literally tried to subvert democracy, most of these people are getting Netflix and chill sentences. Oh, go home and think about it for 30 days while you take a vacation from work.
or they get a few years of probation. It's absolutely obscene and absurd. And the people who knowingly voted twice tried to do their own little part to actually rig the election for Donald Trump, they get slaps on the wrist. They get probation only. Yeah. But tell me again, MAGA, about political persecution, you know, political prisoners. This woman is being politically persecuted. She is going to be a political prisoner. And this Judge Nelson is a partisan disgrace. He should be removed from the bench. These prosecutors need to go get another job. They need to be gone. If you can't be fair and impartial working in the legal field, you need to go get another job. This is a joke. This is an absolute joke when you look at what these other people have done. Insane. So as I said, infuriating. Not surprising, though. Anyway, guys, if I hear any more about this, I'll let you know. Or if I hear any more about other cases that are similar, I will let you know. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Take care and I'll talk with you soon.